Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a simulator style UI inside of Roblox Studio. Check out our store, gfxcomment.com. Uh, we have a ton of free assets for you guys to use for your game. Uh, we have a lifetime access pack right here. So if you guys enjoy the content and you want to show some support, link is going to be down below. Thank you guys for all of your support and I hope you guys enjoy this video. This UI file is going to be available for free at our store. Click the first link down below. I'm going to add the Photoshop file as well as the Roblox file here. Check it out. First link and yeah. Alright guys, so here we are. Um, the goal or the plan for this one is to make our frame. We're going to have a colored stroke uh, on the base and also a nice texture as well as some uh, buttons like this right here. So let's begin. We're going to start with a new layer. I'm going to go for our rectangle and we're going to go for quite a round uh, corner radius or quite a high value um, to make this look more cartoony. So I'm going to go for a simple, simple shape like so. I'm going to go for a blue, bluish off-white color, like right here, let's say. And if we hit Control A, we could go center our um, frame. And I'm going to start adding some guidelines. So new layer, we can go for our rectangle tool. I'm just going to click and width, I'm going to go for 1920 in the height one pixel from center. Let me hit OK. Now we have this. Control A once again. Align by the center. OK. Change our color. We can go for a nice bright uh, color. Control G. This will be our guides. Like so. And I'm going to call this X uh, because it goes along the X um, well, it's a horizontal uh, guide. And then we're going to go copy, control J, and uh, width, one pixel, height, uh, 1080. This will be our Y, like so. And this is our basic start. Uh, let's go ahead and add a stroke, if this can open up. <laughs> okay, so stroke, size, maybe like... 10 pixels and go for a nice blue color. You like 8 pixels. Okay. I'm gonna um, change the background color. It's more visible this way. Um, okay, so we have an X button. Uh, let's do our close right here. So, new layer. I'm gonna go for ellipse. Basically, with our guides right here, I'm going to go ahead and copy one over here, and also an X, uh, a horizontal line, so it uh, intersects right here, and our close button is going to go right here, as you can see, perhaps larger. <laughs> Okay, make sure uh, this is all even. Um, cool, we're gonna go for a nice red color. What kind of color is here? That's more like an orange. Slight uh, change, okay. Now we can add a stroke with a lighter uh, color. Five pixels. And here is our close. Actually, the guides should run along the edge of uh, the base frame and not the stroke. So, kind of like right here. Like that. Okay. Let's remove this. Like so. 
Okay, cool. Uh, we add our text. The font is for Doka. Right here. 24 pixels. Uh, 32. Okay, so one thing I am going to do with our guides is to add a mask layer and then we go for a gradient uh, radial reverse and this adds a uh, cool fading kind of effect okay this is fine for me all right um let's add so we have a currency in text let's make our two buttons um so new layer and go for rectangle uh, 20 pixels and we go for a nice shape just like so and then I'm going to section off the buttons let's say the cutoff is like right here so I think uh, copy this will be a uh, darker shade like so this is our first button. Here we have a second, make sure the uh, spacing is symmetrical. And then we go for a close, just like so. Let's take a look. Um, let's say it looks fine. Uh, I think we should move these closer though. It's like there. Okay, that is fine. Now we can add some cool effects. Uh, we can add a layer, right click, clip, rectangle, color white, go for like a nice shine effect, if you will. Uh, you could blur this out too, as you can see. Capacity uh, 25. Now we have this, 35. No, 25. <laughs> Let's copy our text here. I'm gonna go for close, center, like this, and then for yes, like so. Okay. Now we can add some extra guides to help us here. There we go. Alright, I'm going to copy our text. I'm just going to write, you have earned. I'm going to go for a darkish blue color, like so. Uh, center. Oops. Okay. I'm going to add a coin icon right about here. And then I'm going to copy our text. I'm going to go for a value 1.5M and change the color. Just like so, increase the uh, font size. 52 seems to work out. Uh, perhaps some more spacing, actually. Like this. Establish some more guides like that. It's just gonna help us uh, with our design coins while you were away, like so. And then we're just gonna ask, do you want to purchase another? Uh, 1.2 million coins for 50 Robux. All right, and I guess I'm gonna go for like a blue. Okay, I think I'm going to make this uh, the same coin color like that. I am going to replace this icon because uh, the outline does not fit. So yeah, that's better. Okay, anyways. Lastly, we can add a nice uh, texture. So I'm gonna go for a nice checker pattern, like this. Um, 
copy this thing over like that. Merge, copy this over, and stack this. And then we're going to clip this inside of our shape and change the clip. Like this right here, I would say. Looks pretty good. Alright, so here is our UI. I think it looks pretty good. Um, you can see how uh, the guidelines really help. Uh, everything is, you know, a section like so. Export the guides as an image. And then we're going to uh, rebuild this UI. Uh, we do need this uh, texture so copy this out we're gonna go control click and inverse backspace so we have this and make this color white we can go export like so oh and also the shine on the yes button same thing uh, inverse cut so we have basically this thing and export. I'm gonna see you guys inside of Roblox Studio. Okay, so here we are. Let's get right into it. Screen GUI. Uh, I guess we call this like notification. Uh, frame, canvas, anchor, fit, scale, the color right here. Okay. Uh, we go frame main. I'm also gonna add image and guides like so. Boom, copy ID. This will be fit. Background off, scale. Now you can see we have our guides to, well, guide us. Main is basically eight. 100 by 499 like so I have a nice corner as well um, point one uh, a stroke seven pixels a stroke color is right here color and then Boom. All right, um, I'm gonna add our texture. Texture, anchor, fit. Then we go for texture. Um, base, this is all very, um, I guess, straightforward is how I would put this. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go for this. Inside of main, we add a frame. This will be our close corner one zero close. Change the color of fast scale. Add a stroke. Okay. Okay. So we move this. here like so yeah looks pretty good uh, let's go add our text um oops let's go text anchor I'm gonna go for Fadoka Fadoka for font um scale it's X background off text color white this is what we have so far. Oh yeah, this is far too big. <laughs> the size should be 72. Okay, so copy. Grab our text color. All right, so let me go ahead and scale our text. This will go like point one. 
one five, let's say. We have our icon coin pile right here. This is our icon, All right? Uh, let's go scale and copy our text. Bring it here. Type it over text. I'm gonna resize. Change the color. Just like so. And the icon is gonna be like point. 45425 like so copy and also paste right here to our text right here is our um, UI so far uh, the text should be larger okay I'm gonna copy this text here Coins while using the word plain. Extend. Comes back here. Okay, and uh, here is our oops, our text. Of course, you could um, use rich text to do the low um to color the uh, coin text as well. All right, text color like so. And uh, yeah, this looks fine. Or right, lastly, we have our buttons. Gonna be 310 by 79. Button, copy, paste, anchor. Um, I'm gonna hide this thing. Scale and uh, convert. This will be our main. Add a corner, probably like 0.2. I'm gonna grab the darker color. This will be here. This will be the shadow. Then I'm gonna go and then Control D. This will be main, like so. Change the color and uh, resize, like so. Now you see we have this cool button here. Um, looking pretty good. Okay, inside of main we have glow. Very simple. Copy, paste, anchor, fit, background, scale. And then we grab our text with the color white. And this will be, yes, of course, resize. Right here is our button. Um, let's align this to these to these guides right here. So it's good. All right, we're gonna uh, control D and then move uh, this across. All right, here it is. Okay, we change our uh, text to close. And now we're just going to grab the uh, color, color for main, right here, and then the shadow darker. All right, so let us take a look at our UI. All right, here you can see this is our UI. Take a look. Um, it is responsive uh, for tablets as well as mobile, as you can see. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.